Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Tane from Junior Programmer and I hope you have been enjoying my videos. So as you can see this is what we will be designing. Um, this is skateboard and it will move and so will the uh, box at the back. So let's move on to the code. So first of all let's look at the HTML file. So for the HTML file I will just simply open a file and save it as HTML and I will use the VS code um, to write the code you could use any of the editor ok so first of all I will start with just writing the main HTML tag for example the doc type, HTML tag, head tag um, then includes the meta tag which is just like some of the metadata and all these kind of things that are like you could say just built in and we have to just define them and then I will link the style sheet now the style sheet is where we will define all the style that is very important for this project and then uh, we'll also link the icons that we'll be using those are the images now i've given the title and let's move on to the main part the body uh, in the body we'll do all the animation and all these kind of things so as you can see i am just using divs and giving it different classes so that i can um, choose the style of classes in css and can use it here so simply I am writing um, some text um, in header 1 skateboard and then some paragraph then some um, simply the price and so on. So as you can see I am using different classes and dividing all of this into divs um, because I will then um, use the styling in the style sheet in the CSS and we will link, we'll link that style um, according to the class and then we will add styling and we will be able to see the cool animation tricks that I have just shown you. So you can see I'm just um, displaying some of the um, HTML code, just writing some text and so on, and just using the um, image in the uh, in the output the skateboard image. So this is whole HTML. And now we'll move to the CSS, the style sheet, um, the CSS style sheet. Uh, so this is all. This is the important part in this project because. The main thing, the main animation and all these cool stuff will come with the styling. So in this project HTML part is important but the styling and the CSS is much more important. So let's move on. First of all I'll simply import some things. Um, what I'm importing is the fonts from the Google APIs and you could use the uh, URL that I've done and then I'll start um, styling the different classes and the different pages and so on. So first of all let's say I'll start with the whole of the document using the asterisk before and after. Um, I'm just uh, giving it some size, some outline and some colors and then moving on to the body. <clears throat> Again I'm just giving it some display width, margin padding, just some simple basic attributes of the CSS that we could define. Um, for example it has to be this height, this width, um, um, this much margin, just to find the center flex in the uh, flex direction in the center align it in the center and so on I'm also defining the color and the font family the font weight um, and the animation what kind of animation I would want it um, to have and all this kind of stuff so this is just some basic CSS style sheet um, and using all these basic things we have to create the main output as I've shown so let's move on now I'm using different classes that I have uh, previously used in the HTML um, the wrapper class the card and so on and then I'm defining the styling for those particular class for example if, uh, for the wrapper or for the card um, any div that has this particular class will have um, this particular styling so this is why the class is very important as I told you in the HTML so now moving on the card within the div again some styling um, position, width, height, padding, um, transition um, and all this kind of stuff um, then moving on to the font defining in the font I'm also defining some um, some of the attributes for example the background image in this case it is a linear gradient it is not an image um, I'm defining a gradient which we can define using the background image um, in the style sheet and then the border and the transform and so on now similarly I'll do the same things um, the same almost the same set of attributes for the right the class right um, as you can see the background image is a linear gradient then is the opacity um, just to make it a little bit opaque um, just to make it a little bit transparent just to give it a cool effect 
and have been transformed in the border radius and then comes the card and the hover so for hover as you can see um, it will only work when mouse hovers over it and it will as you can see translate and rotate so it will just rotate the box uh, of the card um, then um, in the hover we are defining the right the bottom and so on now after that we'll define the h1 and h2 tags uh, which we've used in the uh, index html file and um, similarly for those we define the margins fonts letter spacing transform and all this kind of stuff and similarly we'll do all this for the h2 tags h2 is for header 2 p tag p is for paragraph the span tag um, just to write text in between another text for example just to write text in between let's say header tag we have to write a text um, with a little bit different styling then we can use this uh, span tag and then the image img so images uh, basically for uh, entering images into the page and for that i have also defined some attributes for example transform transition delay transform and all these kind of things um, and then moving on to the class image wrapper um, in this one i have defined some animation stuff um, the time of animation and what kind of animation will be there um, then the position of this and all this kind of stuff then moving on to the keyframes um, keyframes is you can think of it like it is involved in the animation um, some kind of frames of the animation um, and you will be able to see it in the output so here also within that i have defined some attributes um, similarly for the card and hover and image wrapper um, again defining some transform um, just to define that how it will transform once the mouse has hovered onto the card or the image um, after that i'm again defining the uh, styling for the tags the ul li ul stands for unordered list and so on now the button again i'll give it some position the right the bottom the border um, the shadow uh, let's give it the background um, a color font family and so on so these are just the attributes uh, which will help me shape the button give it a proper position give it a proper font padding and all this kind of stuff so that it fits in with the animation um, it fits in with the background that we've given it uh, in the output with the according to the other styling so we could always change the styling and so on we could also um, experiment a bit with them but for the one that uh, the output is like mine you'll have to follow the same exact code um, so you can get the same exact output in this um, as you can see i'm also defining the transition or transform um, that is the animation effect um, and so on now for the on the card when we hover um, what will happen to the button again i have given it the transform of how it will transform um, then the card for not hover hover changes in opacity and then for the button when we hover onto a button um, just simply hover a mouse onto a button and we do not click then some changes uh, will take place which i have defined um, and then moving on to the price uh, the one the price is the class that we have defined and giving it some attributes again for keyframes for the animation stuff is some attributes and then for the media media is like the uh, media is like the you can say all the media photos videos and all this kind of stuff and we'll just give it some attributes so that we could control it now let's move to the output let's see what we've been able to achieve so as you can see there's a skateboard that is moving and as we hover onto the car uh, it changes its direction so this is all the stuff that we've defined in the um, in the style sheet so as you can see we have added the details it is like the main front of the card and when you when you hover onto it you could see more details so that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video so best of luck guys and see you in the next video goodbye take care